Hi Internet, today I'm happy to announce that I've just released a new version of Kandu, the cross-platform Pi menu which I'm currently developing. And this new version doesn't bring too many new features, however there are some noteworthy changes which I want to show you in this short video. Okay, let's jump right into it. Um, we can just open Kandu's homepage here, the new homepage, I hope you have seen it already. Um, and from here we can go to the change log. And there we go. And yeah, first and foremost, we now have a new icon for Kandu. I have written a blog post about this. You can read um, a lot about the thoughts and ideas we had here um, regarding the new icon in this blog post. But yeah, just to get you the gist here, our old icon was more or less meant to be a placeholder, so it never um, should have been the final icon and now it was time to, to change this and we had a very fruitful discussion on Discord, we experimented with a lot of different ideas and finally came up with the Sherry Blossom Sakura type of flower icon here, which I am very very happy now with. This fits very very well to Kandu on many levels, you can, as I said before, you can read more about the thoughts uh, behind this icon here. Um, first and foremost, you, as, as you <laughs> will see, um, the shape itself is very similar to the menu. So the menu itself already looks a little bit like a like a flower. And this detached petal you can see here in the icon, this represents very nicely um, the action of selecting something here in the menu. Yeah, and this icon works very well on, uh, across different scales. So we have a very detailed version here and we have more abstract and less detailed versions as the icon gets smaller. We have a circular one which will be used on Linux and on Windows and we have the square shaped one which is meant to be used on, on macOS. Yeah, and alongside the new icon we also have a small change to the logo which um, you may have already seen also on the, on the homepage here. So we have this very stylized abstract cherry blossom here attached to the uh, can -do text here. Yeah, this new icon is now also used in the tray icon up here or down here if you're on Windows. And this brings us to the next new feature in this version. You can now change the icon of the tray icon. So in your settings config, it's again not exposed in the user interface yet, but you can change this setting in your config.json file. You can now choose a tray icon flavor. So per default it's set to color, but for instance you can set this to light. And if I change this here, you will see how the icon itself up, up here reloads to a more um, abstract light version. There's also a dark variant, which we won't see here on this dark panel. And most importantly, there's also a none variant. So if you choose none, no tray icon will be shown. But in order to add a new way to enter the settings of Kandu, which was the main purpose of the tray icon anyways, um, we now have also another new feature and that is if you open Kandu a second time or at least attempt to open it a second time, Kandu will show the settings instead. It used to show just a notification that Kandu is already running in the background, but now if you try to open it a second time, it will show the settings, which makes it actually possible to use Kandu without a tray icon at all. Yeah, the next change is that Kandu is now available on FlatHub. So if you are a Linux user and you are using FlatHub, it's now very, very easy to install Kandu. It still uses the old icon up here, but this will be updated um, soonishly. So yeah, just if you're a Linux user, just head over to the FlatHub page and hit this install button and you're ready to go. Yeah, I think that's mostly it for this version. So there are a couple of other smaller tweaks, fixes and changes. You can have a look here at the um, change log. But yeah, the most important changes are the possibility to change the tray icon here, the new icon and the flat pack support. Yeah, that's it for now. I hope you like those new um, additions. I'm especially proud of the new icon. I think it fits the overall can do aesthetics um, very, very well. And yeah, as always, if you have any feedback or comments, just drop a comment either here on YouTube or join our Discord server to which the link is um, below this video. And yeah, also as always, I would be very happy if you become a sponsor or supporter on for the project on my coffee page to which you find the link also below this video 
in the description. Yeah, that being said, stay tuned for future updates and see you next time. Bye!